Welcome to the Jamaica Street Sports YouTube channel and today we will be doing a feature on the Harmony Community Club Youth Program. Well, we have to practice that. So we have to run through it a little bit with a few players and we are going to work with the midfielders coming to fetch the ball. And then we are going to attack. And then we are going to a game situation. So it's just how you are talking about the attack, you know. Then we are going to see how structured we are at the back. And then we move to the park. Right, because everybody can school here. Everybody wants to be like Neymar and Ronaldo. Yeah, we understand. That's action. Yeah. Okay, everyone. So right here I have Mr. Omar Robinson. Yes. So he will be the coach for the program. Mr. Allen, which you will hear from later on in this video, is the director of the program, and Mr. Allen is the certified coach that he was speaking about. Mr. Robinson is someone that I know a little bit about, but I actually want him to speak about his experience. So, where would you say your coaching experience started? Started at um, York Castle High School and also in the community of Westmoreland and, yes. and Southern Trelawney and also Spring. Great. Mm -hmm. So, moving here to Bounty Hall in Trelawney is not necessarily a, a new thing. No, it's not <laughs> a new thing. No. And that's good because. Youth development is something that you want to be comfortable with the youth. And if you know actually being a member of the community, how do you feel seeing that, you know, maybe in the next 10, 15 years, most of these youths, you'll be able to say that they're a product of your guidance? Well, I, when it comes on to youth on a whole, that is my dream and my heart desire to work and also to see them excel. And once they excel, as I say, I can also be proud to say I was, you know, integral in that, you know, their development yes. as they go in the different disciplines, yes. not just football, but I do other sports too. I'm also a trained um, physical education teacher. Yes. Right. So I, I try to depart whatever I've learned yes. so that they can also depart to their, you know, colleagues as they go forward. Right. And I love that you. You're speaking outside of football because everyone says that football is life, but they don't necessarily even know what it means. Right. I hear a lot of coach say it, and it's probably around maybe like two years ago I kind of understand it where they're saying that in order to learn football, you have to learn life. That's so what me. is your philosophy where it concerns football and life? Because these kids will be watching the video, so yeah. I want them to learn your yeah, perspective of things. Well, I've grown in learning from this and I continue to use it. Too much is given, much is expected. Yes, yeah. and, and so that is why I try my best to ensure whatever skill sets or whatever I have, I give to them. Yes. So I, I am expecting that later on they can spread it out in the different communities yes. and, you know, Jamaica and the world at large. Yeah. Yeah. So what would you say is your aim what is your vision that you would want to see these kids achieve maybe in the next three years as we wrap up this video okay uh, i would want to see them you know if we're in this trelawney if we have under 20 league i would want to see them as a champion of that league within three years Good. and I, I i think based on the crop of players that we have currently that is you know we can we can do it we can do it all right so Thank you very much for speaking to us. You can yeah, get back man. to the team now. Yeah, man. So it yeah. was really, really good speaking to you. And we're looking forward to maybe even featuring you again. So yeah, no problem. A blessing. Right. Go, go. <coughs> let's go, let's go. <laughs> Everybody are learning it to us, so don't worry about it. Everybody's gonna learn. One, two wing back, let's go. Get the goalkeeper in football. Get the goalkeeper in football. Rest here, sit down. Sit down. Get the goalkeeper in football. How's so much out there? Biggs. Biggs, come. You go, go down there, sir. Go wide. Go wide out to the other corner. Sir. Yeah. Yeah. Huh? Don't worry about that, man. We should work out all of that, man. We just want you to get your concept. I concept. Uh, you need to keep it, boy. Two of us come to you, go to the keeper. Yeah, man. Let's go down to a keeper. Let's go to the keeper. 
Roll the ball, take it. No, give me the ball. Pass the ball. Pass the ball. Roll the ball, take it. Let's go. Keep a spot the ball. All right. Watch me now. Toya, you go to this, go to the goal post, man. Let's go to the goal post. This will carry back. Today we have here all on the quotes from the Harmony Community Club. So how do you feel with the recent program that has started here in Bounty Hill? I am feeling so grateful for the program because from a long time ago we wanted a program and it has started now so we feel grateful for it. Great, so with the program now being here, where do you see yourself in football within the next three years being a part of the community club and also your high school as well? Well, I'm finished high school, so I'm focusing on the community club right now. So in the next three years, I see myself playing for the club and scoring goals and titles for the clubs. Do you have any goals to go professionally? Yes. Okay, all the best on that. Good day everyone and today I have here Cairo Nelson, a member of the Harmony Community Club football team. So how do you feel with the program that has just started here? feel good because a lot of us need the training for our control and passes and shooting skills and dribbling because a lot of us cannot do all those things so well yet. So we feel good to say we get some little help to start, start to help us to get, to get comfortable with those drills and stuff. Great, so what school are you attending currently? I'm currently attending Bunchal Primary and Hinton School. What grade are you going into in September? Six. How old are you right now? I'm 10 years old right now. Great, so with this football program being active, do you see yourself wanting to have a professional career in football? Yes, so, yes. so far, yes. Great, so all the best in your pursuit of that goal. See, can't wear the fire. Wrap yourself. Good day everyone and today I have here Odin Parker. He is a member of the Harmony Community Club youth football team. So which school is it that you're currently attending? Holland High. Great, so what grade are you in and how old are you right now? I'm going into grade 8 and I'm 13 years old tomorrow. Ah, beautiful. So how do you feel with this program that is going on in the community and which community are you from as well? I'm from the Montreal community and this program it helps me to improve my football skills and I'm developing Great, so all the best in developing your football skills. Good day everyone and today I have here Roshane James from the Harmony Community Club U team. So 
What school are you currently attending and how old are you right now? I'm attending Clarendon College. I'm 16 years of age. Great. We know that you are involved in other sports as well. But being here at Bounty Hall and being able to be a part of the football program, how do you feel it's being great, able to do so? It's a great feeling to have the youth them playing with us and the coaches that put in out their best effort to get the side together. And you know, it's a great feeling. Okay, so being involved in track and field and football, which one do you see yourself pursuing in the future? Well, I will say track and field, but I have the love for football. Okay, great. So all the best in your endeavors. Mm -hmm. Good day, everyone. And today I have here with me Mr. Dennis Spence. So he is one of the long standing members of this Harmony Community Club. So we are not necessarily going to speak to him for too long, but how do you feel being here at the club for all these years? How do you feel with how everything is going on now? Oh my, I enjoy, enjoy it a lot. Some of the time, ups and downs, we have ups and downs. Yes. But we have to just stick to it, you know, and, and keep it going. Can't afford to let it, can't afford to let it stop and let it go down. Yeah. We just have to just try our best, little by little, keep it up and let it keep going. Great. So, being here for such a long time and seeing that persons are finally coming in to help us now because this thing has been going on for so long and oh, the support man. is really just coming in. What would you like to say to them as a thank you? When I like to give biggest praises to them. Yes. By the help that I have achieved yes. from them. And so over the years, in the ritual, we were finding it very hard. Yes. And now get him some help to help keep us going. I appreciate it. I just want to just thank them all for the things that they have doing. And thanks a lot to them. You know. Big up to them. All right, great. So there we have it with yeah. Mr. Dennis Spence, one of the longest standing members of the Harmony Community Club. Good afternoon, everyone, and today I have here with me Mr. Delroy, Physical Allen. Nice meeting so, you, nice meeting you. This is the individual that he has been here with the Harmony Community Club for a few decades now? Yes, I've been part of Harmony since 1985, so a few years. All That's right. when I started, 1985, joined the club. I was in my early 20s that time when I joined Harmony. Yes. And, um, been part of Harmony, Harmony since that time, and then play some a few roles in terms of position in the club, and then continue from there. And 1998, I become the coach of the team, and in 2000, I go and do the level two course with the really most ever over here, and the level two course, and then start coaching Harmony from that. So I've been around for quite some time. Great. So being around for such a long time, I know that you know a lot of the history. A lot of individuals do not know that the Harmony Youth and Sports Club, that's the original name, it has a strong history. Though you may hear a new name, it's still the same club. Yes. And I would love for you to tell us a little bit about the achievements, you know, the various leagues that the club has won and what's really the future with the youths that are behind us right now. Well, when I started in 1998, um, I joined. The, I started coaching that time, and then we decided we want to start a youth program because we are the youth, you know, there's no future. So we came up with a five-year plan. Said we want to develop the youth for a five-year period, and it paid off pretty well because after a couple of years, we have a few players get called for the national and twenty. We sent like six players to the trials, and then. To make it in the first part of it, which is was Shane Crawford and Howard Reed. Yes. So at the same time, when we're playing Division One football in Chilean Super League, we have two players in the Jamaica National Under 20. So that was the first achievement for us. So I move on from there, and then 
we have other players who represent our money who become national players after you would like Lake and Brissett, as I know as Zika. You have Troy Smith, as I know as Blacks, who you know were captain of village. They came on late after, but they do very national color also. And we have two other players who they are not from the community, but they play national for the national team also where they join our money later. A player like Fabian Dawkins, I know as Ronaldo. He came to Harmony at age 18 and now um, played two seasons, last, then he moved on to Village and then he get called to the National Island 20. And also Thomas Grant is not from here but he represents Harmony also and he also played for Jamaica National Senior Team. So that was one of good achievement for us going forward and we do pretty good guys from there on from there on we have a nice team going on because that five year program that we put in place. It works paid off pretty well for us because we have so many youths come through. Because one time at one time when invaders become a national national league team, yes. our second goalkeeper went to invaders and our first goalkeeper went to village. And that time we we're playing in the Western Country League and we still went to the semi-finals. So that's how much we have a strong youth program going on. So yes. definitely that was a good achievement for us at that time because we're playing a lot of football. We have a lot of youths and we're playing football all year round. Yes. I'm saying and we have under 15 program going, under 12 program going on. So a team weren't suffering right now because we have a lot of youths coming through. So it was not much a problem in terms of yes. transition from under 15 to under 17 yeah. to the senior yeah. team. Yeah. So being someone that you know, you've had success with this before, being the one to now be leading the charge, knowing all of the successes. How do you feel and what would you want to convey to the persons that you're trying to bring on board to be one of the supporters? Well, right now, I left 2005 within state. I was still contribute towards the program, but it do, did break down very much because if you want to involve in the youth program, you got to take your personal time and yeah. involve. And some lot of people didn't want to do that. So things do break down real bad with the youth program. So we decided to get it start over again and go from beginning, just like what we started before with the youth program. As you can see behind us, a bunch of youth. So we start back the youth program. We are, this is the way going forward. You must have an under 12 program, you must have an under 15 program, you must have an under 17 program. So we started all over again. So right now I have a certified coach who will be assisting me when I'm not here, keep the program goes on because what happened in the past, we don't want it to happen again. So we just decided that we're going to have people in place to keep the program going on so the senior team won't suffer like what happened. Just a recently, senior, senior team really suffer because lack of homegrown players because the youth program were not there. Yeah. And you do not have under 15, under 17, your senior team bound to suffer because lack of youth program. So right now, we decide that youth program is, will be coming back and stream and make sure it never dies again. So that's the aim going forward right now and make sure we leave it, somebody who understands football and certified coach who can continue the program when yeah. I'm not here. Because we just we go up and form the club officially all over again, and um, we have an executive body who decide to work hard, and what happened in the past won't happen again. So hopefully this is the best of harmony going forward, and looking for good things. Yes. Because we have some solid people in place and want things to happen, and willing to put in the work. Yes. So I love that you said that things won't happen again, and it's great that you have the experience already because. With this being the early stages, what are some of the difficulties that you had faced in the earlier days when you were doing it that you want to avoid now that maybe some of the executive or some of the supporters could assist with? The structure. You have to have a structure. You can't just leave it one person in charge of everything. You got to get the club structure right. And that, 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 that's what the breakdown of the club. Yeah, when the club structure is not right, the things go fall apart. So right now, we, that's why we just regroup. We start all over with a new, new executive and executive are some people, some past executive, but they're they're willing to go forward and let it work and put in the work. And with some new members on board, 
and some of the older members who giving you support from 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 behind the scene it's like it's a good thing what we're seeing right now is good and i'm oh, looking forward for really really good things for the future of harmony because we know what it is as a legend in it for many years yes. you must have got the structure right so and I build a solid foundation going forward so it can be better for the youth because it's all about the youth yes. we lots of youth here so you them need guidance and need leadership you know yeah. so right now if we continue on this part where we are now another couple of years i'm on a little bit back on the stream but it will take some time because yeah, this generation is a little bit different from a few years back but yeah. all things are possible as long as we have good leadership and we decide that we want it to happen all things are possible it will happen and that's way forward right now that's what we're looking for yes so you were speaking about the persons who are you know in the background assisting and providing some financial resources as well i know <laughs> we can't really speak about everyone because that would take up maybe around like 20 minutes or so but who are some of the individuals that you know who would like to get some highlights or anything like that uh, some of the past members who part of it right now like mr brady we have Shane Crawford pass, national player pass, Armand player, and um, Howard Reed, and a, a few members. But right now we have a we we, are, we set up a a, a, a YouTube and um, what you call it, platform where we where we meet like once a week yeah. with the with the past players and past club members where we are trying to be the strong supporters behind the executive right now. Yeah. So we meet like on on the, on the platform like once a week. So. Whatever we did discuss and whatever ideas come up with, we related to the new executive and we're close with them so we don't leave them alone. So yes. they think they don't have anyone here to give them any support. So we'll be working side and side with them and whatever they put in place, whatever plan they have, they reach out to us and then we give them some advice and take it forward and work with them and, and, and support them with gears and everything. As you can see, 40, 40 pair of new boots came yeah. down just last week for under under 12 under 17 under 15 programs so yeah. as you can see right there it's all about the youth right now so in the future i'm um, looking forward to really strain with a bunch of youth because it's all about the youth them right now it's all about the youth them because they need the support so as long as we have girls and stuff to supply them and then we have a strong team behind them yes. believe me harmony harmony is coming back um she should, should be a return of harmony as very, a, short, uh, yeah, very <laughs> short and looking forward believe me yeah I'm on his back. He'll be back soon. All right. So speaking about that, within the next three years, three to five years, where do you see the club with the youth program being started now? Well, if we continue the part where we are, we, we have we have like fifty youths in the program right now, between the age of twelve and twenty. So if we continue to give them good guidance and continue to do what we're supposed to do as as a past player, so I have experience, we know what to do. Believe in the next three years, our money should be doing well. Our money should do. looking forward to represent the parish in Premier League or going forward for better things because that's where we are right now. But the next three years, our money should be in good hands going forward with the football program because yeah. we're not going to stop. Okay, great. So, what would you like to close with, you know, to gather some support? Because this program, obviously, we all know one person cannot do it and the group may even need to be strengthened. So what would you like to say to the camera to get us some support for the program? Well, we're looking forward for more community support because it's all about the community. Because it's not what the community can do for you, it's all what they can do for your community. So if you can get more support from the community on the ground in terms of finance and getting work with you, because the coach you need a stronger coaching staff, you know, yeah. people who understand football. So I'm asking some of the past players who still around to come and assist the coach with the program because we're not paying the coach, he's just volunteer doing his job and I appreciate really thank him for what he's doing. So we just want some more support from the community in terms of on the ground to get the work done and just work with the executive right here to make a better for our money. So right now that's where we are right now. Just want just some more support from the community and we're still getting support from these past players and members who live in the state and they really give us a real help and trust me i really appreciate what they're doing and i'm a part of it, uh, of it also but we just need some more support from the community yeah just come out and give it support and work with the executive out here to make it a best for the future so that's where we're at right now great so there you have it 
Mr. Allen. Thank you, thank you. Seeking the support because trust me, Trelawney overall needs the support. Yes. We have a lot of talent, but when it comes on to the mindset and when it comes on to really wanting something out of it, we don't necessarily see a lot of persons having the right mindset to get anything out of it. So that is why the Jamaica Street Sports team is really being dedicated now to not just speak to Mr. Allen, not just speak here at Harmony, but to go as far and as wide as possible because we want stories to be heard and we want Trelawney to really get back on top. And trust me, you never know where you will see us next. So that is it for us on the Jamaica Street Sports channel. Ensure that you like, share, and subscribe. You are the Chop Chop Boss, you know, I'm here present for Jamaica Street Sports, you know, the real sports, you know. Check them out on YouTube, Instagram, everywhere, you know. Subscribe, like, and share. That is it. Chop Chop Boss represent. God on time. Charlie! Representing for Jamaica Street Sports. I would have full job the sports right now. Up and running in advance, I represent Jamaica Street Sports. I'm going to say, I don't know if I'm money telling a car away. We know nobody can, nobody never want away. We make the money, everybody wants to swim away. Street Sports, them run chill on it. Man.